Sleep-related breathing disorders arise from inefficient or ineffective breathing during sleep and may result in people having a non-refreshing sleep and uh, cause many symptoms. The most common uh, sleep-related breathing disorder is obstructive sleep apnea. There are a few others, for instance, central sleep apnea, for instance, sleep-related hypoxemia and sleep-related hypoventilation. These are different types of uh, sleep-related breathing disorders. The factors that are associated with the occurrence of obstructive sleep apnea include obesity, as we've said, being male, smoking, um, and uh, having cardiac uh, problems, uh, high blood pressure and the rest of it. There are anatomical reasons where people have maybe a short neck or a thick neck or big uh, tissues inside their throat that obstruct flow of air. Uh, and uh, some people have fairly small or, uh, or narrow mouths or the jaws being a bit pushed back and this reduces the room for air to flow during breathing in sleep. We approach diagnosis by taking a history and examining the patients for all the features I've mentioned about, about the risk factors. Then we have a scoring questionnaire. An, an example is the Epworth Sleepiness Score that informs us about the likelihood that a patient has sleep apnea. The diagnosis is made using the polysomnography, which we do here in hospital. It is a kit that people sleep with throughout the night and it measures the stages of sleep they are going through, how sleepy they are when they fell asleep and when they woke up. It measures their breathing effort uh, using uh, some belts around the, the torso, on the chest and the tummy, and oxygen levels uh, with a probe on the finger. We're also able to measure airflow during sleep and snoring with a microphone.